When you save your projects in Camtasia 2021, it defaults to something called a standalone project. This project type is a folder that includes your project's media. The advantage of saving in this format is that it includes everything you need for your project. That means that you can share it with someone else on a different computer and they can open it and edit your project. You can also move it to a backup drive and everything goes along with it. You won't miss or lose anything. Go to File, Save As, and you'll see a checkbox at the bottom that shows your project is being saved as a standalone project. If you don't want this, then you can turn it off. Let's look at a couple of reasons why you might want to disable this feature. The only downside to standalone projects is the size. For the first example, if you have an intro that you use in all your videos, then Camtasia saves that same file over and over for every project that you create. This isn't necessary because you only need one copy of your intro video. For the second example, let's say that you save your project in different steps along the way. You might have 15 minutes of work and save your project as version one. Then you work another 20 minutes and save it as version two. You do this for a few hours and you now have six different versions of the project. Each version saves all the media. That means that this one project with six versions has all the media files copied six times. This takes up six times more space on your system. Consider saving each of your initial versions as standard project files without the standalone option checked. Then, once you have a final version, you can check the box for a standalone project and save the file along with all the media.